If you want a zero emission vehicle that has the green credentials to give you a conscience that's as clear as glacial meltwater, then you want an electric car. And so here's the CarWow Top 10 Best EVs. The i3 Space Age styling makes you wonder what BMW's normally conservative designers were smoking when they signed it off. The interior wouldn't look out of place in an exhibition at the Tate Modern either, and it's built from renewable materials like bamboo. The i3 is nippy and has a 160 mile range, which is fine for most people. Shame its boot and rear passenger space are cramped and the springy suspension makes it feel like you're driving a washing machine on spin cycle. The Tesla Model S sparked the electric car craze when it first appeared in 2012. It was the first EV to have sufficient range to make it a viable alternative to a normal petrol diesel car. The instant response of its powerful electric motors means higher spec versions can accelerate like a supercar, yet there's loads of space inside it and the infotainment screen is the size of a painting. Unfortunately, the build quality isn't quite in keeping with the car that starts from £74,000. The Mercedes EQC EV represents the next generation of Mercedes SUVs. But like a new iPhone, it appears pretty similar to all the models that came before it. Not that that's a bad thing, because it looks posh and expensive. The same is true inside, where there's room for four and a boot big enough for trips away. Out on the road, the EQC is quiet, comfortable and has an armoury of technology that can do the driving for you. This EV SUV is powered by a couple of electric motors and it delivers decent performance. If there is a downside to it, it's just that it doesn't go quite as far on a charge as some other EV SUVs. Nothing says you've arrived like popping up the Falcon doors on your Tesla Model X. And they're not just for show either. They give rear seat passengers excellent access to the huge cabin. In fact, the Model X can comfortably carry seven people with some room left over for luggage. And as with the Model S, you can get versions which can keep up with a Lamborghini. Sadly, the Model X also suffers the same build quality issues as the Model S. And it looks a bit like that car, only one that's been stung by a bee and is suffering anaphylactic shock. The Nissan Leaf has a decent 235 mile range, room for four adults and a boot that's big enough for a family holiday. Though the kids would probably prefer to go to Disneyland. You know what I mean. Anyway. The Leaf is very easy to drive in town thanks to the way when you lift off the accelerator, the car automatically applies the brakes to help slow you. Though you can turn this function off if you think it's weird. Weirder is the fact you can't fast charge the car twice in a row, which means longer journeys could take ages. The I-Pace is Jaguar's first ever EV, yet actually one of the best cars the firm has ever made. It looks cool, has a modern feeling cabin and is also reasonably practical. Two electric motors give it four-wheel drive grip, while the instant acceleration makes it feel as quick as an F-Type V8, but without the CO2 spewing guilt. What's more, the 300-mile range is enough for a long journey. Shane the I-Pace's firm suspension makes it feel bumpy in town, and the infotainment system isn't as clever as the rest of the car. If the normal petrol Kona is an ugly caterpillar, the electric version is a stunning butterfly. Yeah, crap analogy, I know. But in EV form, this car suddenly has a USP. In fact, it's one of the best electric cars you can buy, thanks to its 280 mile range, redesigned bodywork, improved interior quality, and silent yet zippy driving experience. This metamorphosis has come at a cost though. The conversion to electric has reduced the car's boot capacity, and it's actually quite expensive now for a Hyundai. The e-tron looks like any other Audi SUV, but with a modest electrified twist thanks to a flush grill and optional wing mirror replacing cameras. Inside, there's lots of space for four adults and the cabin oozes the style and build quality you'd expect from an Audi. It's all very predictable, but in a reassuring way, just like the sun rising. Gosh, I guess I could write press releases with this kind of nonsense. Anyway, while the e-tron is nice to drive and fairly quick, its 249 mile range is a bit short for such an expensive EV. The Kia e-Nero has really put the cat iron amongst the EV pigeons. Little chemistry joke for you there, guys. It's quick, good to drive and promises a range of 282 miles, which matches that of much more expensive EVs. Inside, there's space for four and somehow its boot is bigger than the regular Nero's, not the other way round, which is usually the case with electric cars. And then there's Kia's seven-year warranty. The only real problem is that it doesn't look anywhere near as high-tech as it actually is. The Model 3 may be Tesla's least expensive car, but it's their best. In fact, you can see how Tesla's years of leading the EV charge has gone into perfecting this genuine BMW 3 Series alternative. And unlike with other Teslas, the build quality is almost a match for the Germans. 
or the cabin design and huge infotainment system make the interior feel light years ahead. Then there's how the three drives. It still does that EV instant straight line performance thing, but adds in fun sporty handling and impressive comfort too, like no other electric car before it. Plus, it has a range of more than 300 miles. Overall, the Tesla Model 3 is the best electric car you can currently buy. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos, and if you click on the deals box to the right, you can see how much you can save on a new car at CarWow. Or click on the video windows below to watch another of my videos.